Hey everybody. So here I am behind the barn and the chickens have been clucking up a storm back here. So John and I were just kind of hanging out and um, Hank comes out with an egg and he's playing with it. And so I take it away from him to see if he's going to go back and get some more. So he sneaks away. So I go and take a look to see what he's searching for. Oh my God. I don't even know how many are in here, but yeah. look, watch. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. I go in there. Okay, go ahead, babe. Pick that thing up, that metal sheet. Holy moly! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Look how many! Oh my! Not having a chicken coop. Oh my goodness! That is so many. I cannot even believe that. So yeah, I think we're really gonna have to start working on the chicken coop this weekend because. This is a lot of eggs. This is like 20 something eggs here. Um, and I know Hank's sniffing around somewhere else. So I'm gonna go look to see if there's more eggs. But for those of you that don't know how to check for eggs, so if you um, float eggs, if you just take an egg, place it in a glass of water, submerge it in a glass of water, if it lays on its side, then it's good. If it goes straight up and down, then it bad if it floats and obviously is really bad but for me if it's um, just lightly tilted then I use it within the couple days I use it for um, whatever quiches baking that kind of stuff so that's a little tip if uh, if you're curious if your eggs are good or bad you can check them that way um, all right so I'm gonna go look for some other places and uh, thank you for watching take care and be safe and I'll see you in the next video bye bye